Hi guys, it's LaToya and today I'm going to be doing a beauty haul. A lot of the things that I got were from, mostly from drugstores and uh, beauty supply stores and things like that. So I'm going to start off with um, hair products and then move to face and then I have like one or two makeup products. So let's get right into it. Okay, first I'm going to start off with my hair products. So yesterday I went to the beauty supply store and I got some scarves. I have three of them. Um, basically I got these because, um, as you can see, I took my weave out and I'm going to be um, trying to maintain my relaxed hair. So I'm going to be having it up in protective styles a lot. And so I wanted to like add something because I feel like I'm going to get bored of having the same hairstyles all the time. So I thought having some scarves would make it more interesting. And these are silk scarves or more like satin, but they're going to be, um, they're not going to cause any tension or breakage on my hair. So let me just show you the patterns. This one is pink and it's kind of like your um, basic bandana paisley pattern. Things like that. Next one I have, um, this one kind of reminded me of like 90s style, and these are like little skinny and long so I can like tie them around my head really nicely. Um, but this one's just like a blue, pink, and like yellow floral, and I really like that, and yeah, it reminds me of like the 90s, and since that style's coming back this season, I'm very excited to wear that when it gets nice and warm out. And then this one is like a navy blue and cream rose. I really like that one too. And yeah, they're nice and long and thin so I can wrap it around my head and do cool stuff with it. And I think I'm gonna make a video on how to wear headscarves, you know, different ways to make it fashionable. So that will be fun. So yeah, these were from the beauty supply store. Okay, next hair product, I guess I'll go here. Um, I got this Garnier Fructis um, sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Smoothing Milk and it has argan oil and it says that it has 24 hour frizz resistance and I got this from Walmart. Um, I'm going to be using this when I um, air dry my hair. Hopefully when I do that it won't become as frizzy and when I'm um, doing like, top knot buns and things like that I'm going to see if this will slick my hair back as opposed to using a gel or hairspray or something like that. So yes, got this from Walmart. Next hair product that I have is this um, Organic Root Stimulator Olive Oil Incredibly Rich Oil Moisturizing Hair Lotion and I got this from Sally's. It's just a moisturizing lotion. And then what else do I have for hair products? I have um, two like tools, I guess, hair tools, also from Sally. I got this um, clear squirt bottle. And I'm just going to be using this just to put water in or um, making my own leave-in conditioners by using like conditioners and oils or conditioner and, or um, water and oil. So yeah, I'm going to be using that, especially for the summer. I'm trying to do no heat, so that will come in handy. And I got this, um, I didn't even open this yet. I got this applicator brush. I don't know if you can see it through the plastic. Let me open this. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to be using this to apply deep conditioners, and when I do my pre-poo, it'll just be easier to get it um, on my new growth and things like that. So I got that. I got this macadamia, what is it, natural oil deep repair mask. I got the little packet of it from Ulta because I really wanted to try the deep conditioner, but it's so expensive for the whole tub. It's like over $30 for just like a little tub. So I was like, I'll just get the pack and try it. Unfortunately, I did try it on my hair and my hair didn't like it very much. It almost as if it like didn't damage it, but I just didn't like it. So I'm glad that I just bought the pack and not the whole tub because that would have been a really big waste of money. But I probably will um, just give this to somebody. Unfortunately, it didn't work on my hair, but everyone on YouTube has been raving about it. So I wanted to try it wish it worked on my hair, but oh well. But I heard that a good dupe for that was the Neutrogena Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask, and so I got that 
also, so I'm going to try this out. You can see it, and hopefully this works out better on my hair than the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Conditioner did. Yeah, I got this from Rite Aid, so I'm going to try it. It's kind of um, like a pudding um, consistency. So, yes. Also, I have one more hair product. It is the Curls Unleashed from Organic Root Stimulator, and it is a sulfate-free um, shampoo. It looks like this. And I really wanted to get a sulfate-free shampoo because um, the sulfate shampoos really dry out my hair. So I'm very, very excited to try this out, see how it reacts to my hair. Hopefully, it works pretty well. It was a little bit on the expensive side, for the size of the bottle, it was like $14, so I especially hope it works, because I don't know what I'm going to do with this if it doesn't. Okay, now I have two face products, both from Neutrogena, and I got both of them at Rite Aid. Um, the first thing is the Neutrogena Cleansing Makeup Wipes, and it comes in a pack of 25. And I like these just to wipe off my makeup at night. And then another Neutrogena product I picked up was the alcohol-free toner, and it says that um, since it doesn't have alcohol in it, it won't strip your skin of its natural moisturizers. And it's true, it really doesn't strip the skin too much. And I just use this with a cotton ball at night. Now I have two, one, I guess it's makeup, it's chapstick, I got, um, the Burt's Bees Honey Lip Balm with Vitamin E from Walmart. It's in the packaging. I'll take it out. I, I know a lot of people like Burt's Bees products, but I never got them myself, so I decided that I would pick one up and try it. So yeah, it's the Honey one. Burt's Bees. And then I had a coupon that I got from the April issue of Seventeen Magazine, the one with Ashley Benson on the cover. And it had, um, yeah, it had a lot of coupons in it. So I got one to try. I think it was um, two dollars off. Oh, I just dented it. Eh. It was two dollars off the Maybelline Maybelline Color Whispers. So I decided to get this one. It's number sixty-five, and it's called Pink Possibilities. I don't know if that will focus, but yeah, if you can see it. And yeah, it's really bright, but I'm going to try and rock it for summer and spring. So yeah, that is all for my haul. I hope you liked it, and leave a comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!